The NBA is down to the final four teams, and we're breaking down the Western Conference Finals and Eastern Conference Finals for you here. Our pick for the West is Golden State, and for the East, it's Milwaukee. You can click on the screen right now to be taken to my bookie to place a bet, and you'll receive a sign-up bonus of 50% up to $1,000 as well. You can also keep on watching this video for our complete breakdown behind the picks. Hello everyone, I'm Drew Goldfarb. Today we're breaking down the conference championship series in the NBA. Conference semis ended with some of the most exciting basketball we've seen all year long. And the next round should provide some excitement, even if it might be a little predictable. In the West, the Golden State Warriors suddenly had some question marks surrounding them late in their series with Houston. With DeMarcus Cousins already out, Kevin Durant went down in Game 5 against the Rockets and was ruled out for the remainder of the series. This gave Rockets fans and backers hope, but Golden State re-solidified themselves as the best team in basketball with a series-winning performance on the road in Game 6. It's considered likely that both players will be healthy enough to return to action at some point before the Conference Finals round ends. Good news for Golden State there. The Warriors Conference Finals opponents, meanwhile, faced challenges of their own in round two. Portland trailed Denver three games to two late last week, but pulled out an 11-point win at home to force game seven. And after trailing by nearly 20 points in game seven in Denver, the Blazers came back and picked up a win in the toughest building to play in in the entire NBA. They'll be riding high on that energy heading into game one in Northern California. While Portland has the momentum, Golden State is still Golden State, and the Warriors are heavy favorites to win this series. I wouldn't totally blame you for taking a small bet on Portland because of the long odds given to the Trailblazers, but going against the Warriors after they rolled through Houston is not something that I'm prepared to do. If you're looking for a better value wager that might actually pay off for this series, I'd consider betting on the length of it. You can get plus 200 odds or better by picking the length of the series correctly, and going with the series ending in six games is never an unreasonable wager to make. For the Eastern Conference, the Milwaukee Bucks advanced with very little drama, unless you bought into what some analysts were trying to sell after Game 1. After a runaway Boston win in Game 1, Milwaukee trampled the Celtics to win the series in five. The Bucks looked like the best team in the Eastern Conference in that series, and now take on the Toronto Raptors in the Conference Finals where Milwaukee's series only provided manufactured tension, Toronto's series with Philadelphia was truly tense throughout. The Sixers forced a Game 7 by convincingly winning at home in Game 6, and Game 7 remained tight throughout. In fact, that game was tied at 90 in the closing moments until Kawhi Leonard's buzzer-beating shot took four bounces before dropping in for the win. Leonard finished the game with 41 points. It will be a key in Toronto's bid to bounce the box. Milwaukee isn't favored nearly as heavily as Golden State to advance to the NBA Finals, but they're still heavy favorites. Again, I have to stick with picking the favorite to win this series, but would again suggest looking at the series length for your potential betting returns. While a straight bet on the Bucks to win would pay out at roughly 1-3, to three, you can get 2-1 to one or better on predicting a series length. A sweep seems unlikely, but the Bucks are 8-1 and one this postseason, so I'm thinking less than 7 games as well. Six games is a good standard, though this has the potential to wrap up in five if Milwaukee can dampen the energy boost Toronto got from winning Game 7. Be sure to check out our latest individual game picks here and online at GamblingSites.org, and be sure to check out all of our other videos and articles for picks, tips, and how-to guides. And be sure to let us know who you think is heading to the NBA Finals down in the comments below. I'm Drew Goldfarb. Thanks for watching. See you next time.